And we begin tonight with a tragedy at Sacramento State. Family and friends are mourning over a student killed in a crash. Danielle Draney died after crashing into a tree Friday night on Riverside Parkway in West Sacramento. Draney was part of a sorority at Sac State and an active leader in the community. When she wants something, she's going to she's going to get it and she's usually the best person for it and she she's just a force. Loved ones are remembering Danielle Draney and calling her an inspiring young woman. KCRA's Aaron Heft met one on one tonight with the Draney family and Danielle's best friend. When she walked into the room, it was just like you could feel it like, oh, Danny's here. Passionate, caring and ever encouraging. 22 year old Danielle Draney was everyone's best friend. To know her was to love her and to be loved by her was a privilege. She just had all these dreams and, and it was she's a dreamer just like me. And that's one of the reasons we were so close. Danielle died last Friday when her car hit a tree in West Sacramento. This just months before her college graduation. Her dad, Roger, said she was making big plans. And she always used to tell me, I just love Sacramento. Um, in fact, one of her last texts to me was, I want to live in downtown Sac so bad. And she sent me a link to the apartment complex. It was a few years back. She just fell in love with Sacramento. The Capitol was right there. And she goes, oh my gosh, what is that? I said, that's the Capitol, is it amazing? She's just, I want to I want to work there, I love that. And we changed her applications and put um, Sac State on there and she got in and it was, it was just the highlight of her life. A proud Sac State Hornet and Phi Sigma Sigma sorority member, Panhellenic Executive Board President. She was to graduate in May, law school was next. I can't get her smile out of my head. Best friend, roommate, and Danielle's sorority sister, Kelly Lee, says she was just magnetic. It's almost like beyond words what she made me feel, and I hope that I also made her feel that way. As the baby and only daughter to the Draineys, they were exceptionally close. Her parents were planning to move to Sacramento from Fresno to be closer. They now hope the city she loved so dearly will remember her and honor her for everything she was. She loves Sacramento. I don't, I've never seen anybody love a city um, like she did. And she says, I'll never leave. I'm going to be in Sacramento my whole life. In Sacramento, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Sac State is hosting a vigil for Durani on Wednesday at 630. It will be at the University Union Ballrooms.